Hello and welcome to the White Belt Program. I'm Herb Robbins and I will be describing this program for you. Here at Robbins International, we continue to provide information to businesses that is vital to your continued success. The White Belt Program was created using short, easy to access online videos as we realize your busy schedules and long hours limit conventional training opportunities. This program is meant to jumpstart you on the path to determining what fits well within your workplace. I'll refer to tools in your toolbox. If you need a screwdriver, you won't have much success with a hammer. It's important to know what tools exist and have them available in your toolbox for use. You will be exposed to a number of concepts and the decision will remain yours whether or not you'll need to enhance these existing skills or even wish to discover additional ones. As a master black belt and project leader, I will tell you that having a team with members who have been exposed to these concepts and tools provides for a competitive edge. After you've completed your white belt training, I encourage you to join a team or work with your supervisor or manager to help implement these tools in your workplace. You may also visit our website, lean2020.com, to search for additional information and further training opportunities. After all, this is not just about your employer, this is also about valuable marketable skills that you will soon possess. Get comfortable and prepare to enter the world of operational excellence and earn your white belt. Zero defects, Kaizen, TQM, quality circles, employee empowerment, geez, have we had enough programs? All these programs have been referred to as the flavor of the month since they come and go rather quickly. Some companies avoid the flavor of the month syndrome by giving their program a unique name and simply enhancing the program with new ideas as they come along. We believe this approach makes the most sense. Employees see the same program year after year so there's stability while periodically new and appropriate tools are introduced to the program. We use the program name Operational Excellence as we see this for your entire business operations with the objective to strive for excellence. Before we go much further, let's review the definitions and relationships of the three elements of the Operational Excellence program. Six Sigma relates to the problem solving methodology used. You'll learn more about how teams work together following the DMAIC roadmap using different tools to solve problems. I'll refer to some specific issues relative to the Six Sigma programs later. For now, let's focus on Six Sigma as a problem-solving methodology. We'll also include a number of soft skills here, such as team building, consensus, and affinity diagrams. There are tools that require us to use math and statistics to reduce variation within our processes. These process control tools are focused on process optimization and reduction of defects. We've attempted to soften the blow of these sometimes scary statistical tools by using the term process control here. Some of the advanced tools can get complicated, but 99% of the time we'll use basic tools and these are relatively straightforward to understand. There are also lean tools that help us focus on reduction and elimination of waste and inefficiencies in our systems. Lean tools have become very popular over the last number of years. You'll learn about the eight different types of inefficiencies that exist in all workplaces and also some of the methods to reduce and eliminate them. These elements, when joined together, make for a very powerful combination. The more tools within your program and personal toolbox, the more able you will be to solve problems. By learning about these tools, you'll know which ones to use and why. Yes, there's a time and place for each tool, and although there may be a number of different ways to solve your problem, misuse of a tool will waste time and perhaps even cause other issues. Let's say we have a process that has a lot of variation causing a high quantity of defects. I'm more likely to use process control tools first to get the process more standardized. If I were to lean out of this process while it is still contained all the variation, we'd simply be making errors at a faster rate. Another process might have little variation, yielding few errors, but other efficiency issues might be causing longer throughput times and late deliveries. This would be an ideal time to pull lean tools out of your toolbox. The Healthcare White Belt program is easily completed in less than an hour. Perhaps you might want to do this over a few days or weeks. That's fine too. Your program, your belt, your pace. The first step is to complete the training videos. Go to www.lean2020.com for the list. During the second step, you complete the test and don't forget to include your name as you would like it to appear on your certificate. If you do not receive an 80 or higher, you have two attempts to earn your Healthcare White Belt certification. When you receive your certificate, you might want to provide a copy to your Human Resource Department as the program is recognized internationally as the initial step into the Six Sigma world. Here's the list of the four videos, each five to seven minutes in length, 
to earn your healthcare white belt certification. Basically this video and three others which each feature a topic area that will provide an overview of the concepts. The videos play as a VCR DVD with features that allow for pausing, fast forward, or replay. The videos provide a lot of information and I encourage you to take notes. Watch at your own pace. I want to mention the importance of this white belt program. Anyone who has led a team or facilitated a Kaizen event understands the issues that slow a project relative to lack of team member awareness. White belts, armed with a basic understanding of Six Sigma, Lean, and Process Control, help the team move forward at a much faster pace. The White Belt's core strength remains their area of expertise, which is why they were selected to be a team member. Team leaders are responsible for results, and knowledgeable team members are a critical part of the success of any project. This is the beginning of acquiring knowledge that is transferable to any business environment. Additionally, there are powerful tools that you will be able to learn during higher level belt training. A combination of lecture and hands-on simulations provide exceptional understanding of those advanced concepts. Congratulations on taking this first step to complete your white belt. Before you head off though, let's briefly review the path to finish your certification. Step 1. Watch the required videos on Six Sigma, Lean, and Process Control. Step 2. Take and submit the white belt test. Include your name as you would like to see it on your certificate. Step 3. Submit the nominal processing fee. Step 4. Receive your certificate. Consider submitting to your human resource department. The white belt certification is recognized throughout the world. And lastly, I encourage you to share our website with others and consider attending one of our higher level belt programs to further your understanding of these tools as well as learning other valuable ones. Good luck with completing your white belt certification.